Hello everyone and welcome back to another edition of The Feeding Frenzy. A little bit of signal above the noise that is the internet. In every episode, you can expect one of four things. Something worth listening to, something worth reading about, something worth watching, and last but not least, which is a quote worth pondering. First up, as always, is worth listening to. This week's podcast is a podcast with Norena Hertz on The Knowledge Project. On this episode, Norena breaks down the world's loneliness crisis and what it means for well-being of our minds, bodies, economies, and democratic institutions. In general, this podcast, I think, is really important, especially now that we're coming out of this post-COVID resurgence. I think most of us are feeling just how lonely we really are. And it's something that I think most of us aren't really all that comfortable sharing with. I think we do need to talk about it a lot more. The other part of this is that I do think that in general, it's even easier than it ever has been to shelter yourself and isolate yourself from other people because we've been very much strained by not being able to interact with the people we care about. One particular idea that I enjoyed in this conversation was the elevation of friend networks as something as strong and important as your family network. And I found that idea to try and shift the culture so that you can use friends as, as just an equally reliable source for you to take time off or use them as an emergency contact. I think that is really important and something that should be explored in greater detail. Moving on to worth reading. I had an article that many of you are probably going to consider low-hanging fruit. <laughs> And it's a Nautilus piece called Curiosity Depends on What You Already Know. What I find interesting about this piece is, well, it scratches all of the itches of why this podcast, this blog, and what I do here exists for me. The, the thing that they got, I think, with this headline is it's about a hunch. Curiosity is about this little breadcrumb trail that you, something intuitive about yourself or about what you've observed in the world. And you have this idea that you can grasp it, but not quite. And it, so it takes you that little bit to think you have an answer or a skill to do something. And you go out in the world and figure out if you do actually do that. And over time, it's like going down the rabbit hole of YouTube. It doesn't start because you're completely don't know where to start. It's you have a hook that's set and you grab on and that hook pulls you into the direction to continue exploring. And I thought that was really cool. And so here's a quote from the piece that I really enjoyed. This quote is from Celeste Kidd. You wouldn't want to pick up a children's book or a book you've read a lot before. On the other hand, if you choose a book you can't penetrate, say a Russian textbook on astrophysics, you hit a similar problem. But that's not going to be very interesting. To learn, you have to have something to grab onto. The next handhold can't be too far from the last. You might never reach it. So as your brain pushes you to gather information as quickly as possible, it instinctively steers you away from gaps that are too small or too large. And again, that's why I just summarized and I thought it was so apt. What I try to explore here on the podcast is trying to provide that breadcrumb trail for those interested in topics, another handhold to jump off into. Moving on to worth watching. This week we had two videos. The first one was more of a interesting science technology development. And it's in, or it's in the same vein as all of the other interests of fungus that I have. This video is Mycelium Fungus, the Plastic of the Future. And that was with the YouTube channel Undecided with Matt Farrell. What I found really cool about this is just what we're finding about how to use and process mycelium. We mostly think of the fungus as the thing we see on the surface, but actually what's underneath constitutes a way larger portion of the actual fungus itself, which is the root network called mycelium. And so mycelium, I think I'm not, don't quote me on this, but I think it's around 80% or more of the actual organism. Just the sprouted part that's on the surface is what we, we can, is like a bloom or a flower. This video really go goes over the details of how we're learning how to process fungus mycelium into a whole bunch of more usable and biodegradable products like bricks, leather for clothing, and things like that. So again, really cool and so much more to come. It's not something widely used yet because the, the, 
the manufacturing processes haven't been developed enough, uh, haven't been developed enough yet so that we can actually use it in more viably. The second video is the false idea of who you are, Alan Watts, and it was illustrated by After School. For some background here, Alan Watts was a well-known British philosopher, writer, speaker, and best known for his interpretation of Eastern philosophy for Western audiences. He left behind more than 25 books, an audio library of nearly 400 talks, which are still in great demand. In general, for me, I find Alan's speeches to be really meditative. Sometimes his work doesn't really strike me very well, but for whatever reason, this week I listened to this speech and I took a lot away from it. It just helped me process some of the negative thoughts that I have about the world. So with that, if you're interested in this one, I think what I would recommend is go and put this on in the background if you're taking a walk or in nature and just see what comes up and just check in with yourself. That's what I did this week and it was helpful. And last but not least is worth pondering, which is a quote that I found thoughtful or insightful in some way. And I leave it to you to decide what you think of it. And so this quote is from Philip K. Dick. The true measure of a man is not his intelligence or how high he arises in the freak establishment. No, the true measure of a man is this, how quickly can he respond to the needs of others and how much of himself can he give? And with that, everyone, it wraps up this edition of The Feeding Frenzy. I hope you took away something that you're going to dive into. As always, I'd love for you to share anything that you're finding interesting in your weeks, and it may find itself in one of these. And I really hope that I can continue to fill you with more knowledge, but also create a dialogue. And in that form, if we continue to do this interplay back and forth about what we're finding valuable to each other, that may end up becoming even bigger category because then I can expand on it or find new guests on the podcast for these topics as I explore them. Basically, just try to double click on these ideas. And so without rambling any further, have a great one and I'll see you all in the next edition.